Hi everybody, welcome back to some more Euro Trucking. It's Mark's dad. Right, I'm just uh, starting a little bit earlier today just to do a job on the way to London. <laughs> Gambler, couldn't catch you out, buddy. I tried. Hi, hello, El Mars Bar, Mighty Reds, George, Moritz, Tyler, Kyle, <laughs> Smiley Gambler. Just can't put one. Got to get. I know. Got to get. Got to get. Got to get up early to slot one past you, buddy. Right. Again, meeting everyone in London, so I'm just going to do my. Where's my load gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Actually, didn't think I had a load on that. Right, Magnus. Hi, Callum. Hi, Roberto. Hi, Chris Edwards. Reese Mitchell's in. Everyone's in today. Hi, Ryan, Kilda, Daniel. Soggy Dodger. That sounds like me. Soggy Dodger. <laughs> yeah, good. Doing good. Hiya, Mark. Hiya, Mighty Reds. Hope everyone's had a good day. Yeah, Tom. That's absolutely fine, buddy. That just gives me a chance to uh, say hello to everyone. And obviously, Mark hasn't been on so much today, so it makes a little bit up for that. Yeah, okay, Daniel, that's not an issue. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Don't take any notice of that. I can't do two things at once. Hi, James. Hi, Lee Comer. Yeah, good. Good good day today. Can't. Mustn't grumble. A bit early, yeah. I like to get on a little bit. I'm only sitting waiting, so... I normally phone Mark about this time, so, you know, I'm just uh, all good to go, you know, so... Fingers crossed my internet behaves, oh, that's the only thing. The last couple of days have been a nightmare. Hi Ruben, hi Kieran. Mark's day off on a Tuesday, buddy. So just as just is normal. Hi King. King Khan, sounds like King Kong. <laughs> that's okay Daniel, watch as long as you can, you can always watch it back after. I was actually wondering whether uh, Trucker's MP had been updated, so I thought, oh, I'll watch it just just beforehand. Ah, Hoffy, yeah, yeah, I tell you what, you're right, but I've just told somebody it's, it's Mark's day off. <laughs> uh, no, Mark, um, Emma's got an interview tomorrow, so they needed to be back in England uh, this evening, ready for tomorrow, so... Yeah, thanks, Gamble and Hoffy, I know. There you go, I can't do... I, I can't control myself. Uh, hello, liquor. I think that's what you say, buddy. Yeah, so it's Max day off tomorrow, so obviously I'll be on tomorrow afternoon as well. So hey, that means I've got another day in the week. Brilliant. <laughs> that's all good. Hi, LJ. LG, sorry. Empty. Empty 320. I've been on the, uh, yeah, on that side in particular. You'll never forget that, I don't think. Be one of them we'll talk about in the nursing home. Hey, Mark. Yes, I'm just thinking I'll be on tomorrow afternoon. I'm trucking tomorrow night, obviously, so that gives everyone a better drive out. Oh, Grant. Oh, five hour tattoo sesh. Um, are you able to say what you're getting or are you going to just do a, a picture and put it on the Facebook group after? LG, yes, that's a good buddy, yeah. There's no hurry. I'll wait for everyone when I'm there. Uh, truck is the Scania that I had last night. Uh, I'll show you when it's light. No, Chris, I've just, uh, I took a job from Plymouth to London. Just so I can uh, chat to everyone and get a, you know, so just get a couple of miles in. Yeah, no problem, buddy. You take care. Esteban, how are you? He's got 90k subs and can be the face of the. Yeah, he could, Chris. Yeah, he's, he's incredibly well. Thanks to you guys. Oh, tattoo. See, a lot of tattoo themes uh, all seem on the the dark side, if you know what I mean. You know, like you've just said, zombies or skulls, and I often wonder why that is. 
Ah, okay, Esteban. Well, I wish I could say, um, talk, chat to you in French, but I can't. Um, I'm just thinking I've put my horn on my indicator. What am I doing that for, silly Billy? Hi, Ollie Davis. Sorry, Smith one. Uh, MJ, MGM's red. Right, what's server? Server one, Miss Marty. Uh, sir, sorry. Bang. Server three, no cars. I got that used to say in server one. Uh, surf and surf. Ah, right, Colin. Yeah, I get that. I have a very, very close friend who, uh, who got some. Um, when he explains what you all are. I like that. Yeah, it, it isn't just something random, but yeah, I, I totally get that. And and the, and he's got something very very personal, which is um, you know, yeah, totally get it. Yeah, good, good buddy. Had a cracking afternoon this afternoon, just kicking about and oh, chest. Um, I suppose it must. I don't know how to know how sore it is, but it's obviously bearable. <laughs> you see where some people get tattooed, so it, you must be a glutton for punishment. Uh, just look at the knee and rugby. Oh yeah, there's some some. There has been some uh, paralysed people in rugby as well. Uh, I'm just 184, so I knew I could get that done. No problem. Should be on time for a nine. Hi, Carbon. Got in my farm simulator. Oh, you've got me in your farming simulator. That's good. Oh, you mean you're watching the stream while you're farming? That's good. Yeah, good, Cameron. Just, just can't, um, can't complain at all today. Hiya, Ben. Ah, there's my oracles in. Yeah, just uh, on final approach, really. Well, 175 mile of final approach. <laughs> uh, right, let's find my lights. Ah, oh, there they are. Hey, Matt's PC. Yeah, just change it for a change. I was just trying it in my uh, project cars and that, so I thought I'll uh, I'll give it a try. But I've just realised I've got I've got one indicator. I've got a horn instead of an indicator, so. <laughs> hey, Simon, how are you? Are you good? I hope. But uh, yeah, Brandon, have it, have it. It's one of them, uh, just like Mark. It's one of them loved wheels that we saw from right when we started to get interested and look at different stuff. Probably like you all do. You look at stuff and say, uh, "Oh, one day I'm going to have that." Well, that's how. Once I had some money, that's what I bought, you know, and had it. I've had it all that time. So, hi, Adam. Hey, crossfire. So it's it's nice for, that Mark's got the stuff as well because he's uh, he's lingered after it as long as I have. So that's good, Ben. Uh, Scan your man. Uh, well, I'm just on my way to London, so I'm going to meet everyone in London. So it gives you a bit of time to go and do whatever you need to do before I get there. Uh, some people might want to just go and pick up a load, uh, you know, because it's not going to be easy to follow around as you all. As we found out the last week or some week, so it gives you time to go and have a look around, get an interesting load. Just keep that on for the whole journey. If you want, we'll just go from different place to different place. Hopefully, some some if you can get the same loads, but it's it's certainly been a lot more difficult, you know. Hi, Tom. Uh, Adam, uh, now project cars. I, do, I honestly don't know on Steam. If I said 20 quid, I could be lying. Um, but look on, uh, is it G, G2O? Uh, G, G2O, G2A and Kingwing. That, that's the only one I would choose. Ah, right. I, I never realised, Hoffy, I just presumed that Speditor would... Um, what? would work same like world of trucks where it wouldn't be compatible with the, the, the latest patch so 
Ah, right. Yeah, so a little bit of a faux pas on my part for not having that yet. Uh, fanatical. Ah, right, that's good. Thanks, monks. There you go, 15 euros on fanatical. But, yeah, please don't buy it off Steam unless it's got a silly, a silly sale on. Hiya, Brent, is friend. Yes, very good, buddy. Like being, I like being on. I heard from Mark, uh, sort of tea time-ish, so he sounded in good form as well. Uh, so we're not allowed to use. Uh, oh, Adam, I, I, I didn't know that actually. So that's again something I, I should, I should have known these rules already. But I think for the, um, for just being in the convoy, Adam. Uh, when everyone's struggling to get a job, I, you know, there's got to be a little bit of wiggle room there, surely. But because I know so little about it, you see, I'm a little bit, um, I'd have to ask you all. <laughs> we should actually get it just to try it, me and Mark. Uh, yeah, it's, it's on, but uh, because it's dark in the game, it's very, very dark. I don't know whether I can very very dark with the lights on so hopefully it's what quarter past three in game so yeah hopefully it'll get light soon it's a bit of a uh, it's a bit of a pain we often got this in uh, 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 ATS you know really dark night and it's it's, it's rubbish that uh, yeah. yeah I didn't, uh, appreciate the precaution there uh, and I wish I could tell you the definitive answer. Uh, I don't know whether if William was listening, he could t tell us uh, if it's allowed or I don't know. Oh, Crossfire, your favourite truck? Well, as everyone knows, my uh, my favourite joke truck is the Iveco because it's surprising. <laughs> um, I don't really have one that stands out that much because you can just buy a new one every game if you need to. So. I've got a few mod trucks that I really like. There's a new uh, engine and gearbox for a uh, Volvo F FH16 on Steam Workshop that I got today, and that's that's got a, probably what I would say one of the best new sounds that I've heard. Uh, it's really really good. Uh, Nikon, I've got a Nikon One. I think it's a Nikon J1. So. That's obviously just a small. I've got a D800, uh, a D7000. Mark's got the D700 now. That's gone to Mark. Apparently, it was going to him anyway. So rather than wait till I'm not here anymore, he's got it now. <laughs> so and just it's as I say, I was always told if you're going to get into photography. Pick a particular brand that you're going to stick with and spend your money on good lenses. The bodies you will change, so that's absolutely true. Uh, both button, both these button boxes I actually got uh, off eBay, but they were originally Derek Spear design. Uh, I couldn't afford to buy them from him personally. I bought uh, 85 quid for both of them with the shroud, but as they say, one shroud was broken, so I made two new ones. I've got a Brian Davison button box down to me right here, which unfortunately you can't see. So anything with these track racer rigs, if you're going to mount stuff, it's very, very difficult. So I've got it attached to my seat. And that was bought from me by uh, Chris, Christian, uh, which I haven't seen for donkey's years. So if he's listening, I hope he's, I hope he's good. Another going back to the old farming days so many people were got to know then hiya Brandon uh, yep yeah, stick with Sony if you get Sony glass well don't forget if you're with Sony you can get the old Konica Minolta lenses they fit the bodies so especially now you're getting into the electronic uh, you know no, no shutter so much wider as well I do drive in real life. I don't drive much though. I've got to be very careful these days. Uh, just the prescription drugs I take. So if I got a drug swab, I would fail the drug swab. swab if it, 
depending on when it is in the day so I, I've, I've got to sort of time it you know so uh, yeah gambler thanks for that we'll try and get something right Brandon what you're telling on uh, okay modeling yeah you've got time please don't hurry I've got 70 mile left are you squeeze yeah, been very, very good, mate. Very good. My, my daughter, after long last, has finally uh, been able to save enough money to buy a car. So it's, it's been kind of long in my mind that she's desperate for a car. And as you know, you just need them. We've got two, two children. So Mark's going to help her out tomorrow, uh, which is fantastic. Just the fact that he's been able to be there for her, which uh, I'm so happy about. So that's... Yeah, I've got a real buzz out of what she told me today, so. And do any farm sim? Yeah, we do uh, farm sim, but I, to be fair, I, I farm on the night time just to chill out. Maybe, you know, maybe it's about 12 till 1, something like that, you know, that time kind of thing. So I've been playing the Shamrock farm at the moment. It's just a little farm. Uh, watch a bit of telly and that, you know, just to chill out. Uh, I think we're just waiting for Farm Sim 19, to be honest. Uh, I know Mark's been doing a bit farming as well, but he's learnt the season, so he's, I should really do that. You know, I'll get him to teach me. That'll be a good, uh, might be a good series. Are you Peter? Yeah, very, very good. Mr. Snowman. Yeah, couldn't be better, man. Couldn't be better. Uh, a squeeze, yeah, just the uh, racing that we do, sim racing. Uh, we did the project cars last night. Hope everyone enjoyed the project cars and it, you're not finding it um, boring or anything like that. Feedback would be nice. It, it bothers me because I can't talk to everyone uh, for, for obvious reasons. But Oh, does it walk you through that? I never realised that, Adam. I was going to actually ask Mark, how do you know what to do at what stage? So... Right, it's getting a bit lighter now, so... Still not there. You get a lot of reflection off the screen when it's dark. Ah, thanks, Gambler. That's good. Ah, well, that's good. I, I'm, I appreciate that. I know you, you know, good or bad, you would tell us, so it's, it is important. <laughs> I need the, the, the Discord lads back in, I know. We should maybe say, I'm sure we could, uh, could we not get you in? I know we wouldn't be able to get you the server feed in, but you could still join the races, could you not? Uh, coffee at the moment, I'm a... Uh, Funny, if I go to a cafe and have, say, I don't know, you, you had sort of fish and chips or something like that, I would have a cup of tea. But strong tea, I don't like, like builder's tea, I like, I can't be doing with dishwater. Uh, yeah, definitely cutting Daniel, uh, I mean, up here we're lucky because the sun sets, because we're a particular bit of Scotland we're in. Uh, we get a little bit, it stays lighter a little bit longer than where my daughter is in the north of England so it's quite weird that yeah uh, oh yeah you're looking for rigs are you uh, I'll tell you what honestly as Gambler says and uh, please look into the price of the Simlob stuff uh, bear in mind if you could if you could get a good seat second hand uh, which a lot of people have done it's it they're not as expensive as you might think if compared to the others now you've got to think if you want to add something later on please please bear in mind you you know if you want to like put a bracket or add something you know can you add it uh, I would struggle on here I'd have to make something and Mark banned me from it but I'd still <laughs> Fortunately, my button box is attached to the actual wheel hub, or otherwise I would be, I would be stuck. Yeah, pitch black in Newcastle. Yeah, can't think what time it actually gets darker, you know. But it's 
been a nice day here, you mind, today, I've got to say. It was a beautiful uh, full moon last night here, and you can see the stars so well. But, um, yeah, I like this time of year. Hiya, Twisted Eagle. Hiya, Josh. Hiya, Bad Monkey. Right, Neil, do you do? I uh, think this game could be... Uh, a training tool vent. Yeah, I'm, I, it's probably a good idea, actually. I mean, I'm, I am, as you know, I'm quite lucky because Mark helps me. And when I'm streaming, I get the help off everybody else, so I, I don't feel like a, a stuck as much. Uh, but yeah, it's probably a good point. I, I wouldn't have known where to start. That's why when I had the mod money, I just went buying trucks and just driving around. But uh, once Mark gave me an idea of how to start and get me on drivers, uh, I love it. Oh, is that going to... That's a canny stutter, that. Oh, no, it didn't. I thought it was going then. <laughs> hey, car fan. Are you snaky? Right. Let's get this load dropped. Oh, look at that. Fat one minute to something like that. So that's not bad. <laughs> Can't crumble at that. That's another another company job done there. But yeah, if anyone's looking for mods, have a look at that FH sixteen engine and gearbox mod uh, I think it was I don't know whether it was put on this afternoon or this morning I don't know when but I just clicked on recent and then I, I scroll through what's been added hiya Keza oh Dave's good uh, <laughs> he had to be uh, measured because uh, Kevin's been made at the moment and Kevin's like taller and a little bit skinnier so she's just trying to get the dimensions right from but He's, he looks great as well, so she does a good job with him, she does. She's very clever. Hi, Ridgey 10, how are you going? How is your streaming doing? Oh, you got a wheel for your birthday, wow, what did you get? Tell me. Yeah, Chris, um, one day I'll have my sub the sub counter on here. Right, I'll just change my indicator. For some reason, that's the only thing when you change your wheel on this, all the buttons are in the same place. Ah, left turn, Clyde. Uh, yeah, like, ah, that's it, yeah, diff lock. Oh, that could go in that one, actually. Yeah, in you go. Sorted. Uh, you're at the Volvo, you're at the garage, yeah, I'm coming round there now. Hopefully it's getting a bit lighter, yeah, half past four now in the morning, so it's looking good. Who's this coming in? Well, I'll put this board round. That's a better idea, that. Right, uh, what wheel do you use? Various, but they're all Fnatic based, whether it's the... This is a, an all combined, the hub and the rims all combined into one, where the, the other ones I use are just a hub and then a rim. Same Fnatic shifter, just look at the H pattern shifters. I don't know how much they are now, like. Hi, Har Harley's mum. I don't know what Harley's mum is called, but. We have got a very important little birthday coming up as well because we have Luke who watches and uh, he's going to be one year old on Wednesday. So I'm trying my best to remember <laughs> the little lad. So I must remember that for Wednesday. Yes, Brandon, but it's just a fanatic shifter, so they're really good. Glenn, is, your mum's name is Glenn. Is that right? I've never heard of a lady's name, Glenn. Well, good evening, Glenn. Ah, Will, you've got. I feel bad for you, buddy. It's um, 
I, I get angry. Get angry for you because it's it, this shouldn't be a problem for anyone. Hey, you sideways? How are you going anyway? Long time no speak to. We want. Uh, ah, right, Brandon. You're your little lad. That's good. All the sim, all the sim uh, people of the future. Uh, it is PG, buddy. Yeah. It's only uh, Grand Theft Auto that. It's more because of the language from the game, not basically so we can just uh, be um, irresponsible. <laughs> the, the language is the language is atrocious, everyone. So I hope I haven't kept you waiting too long there. Keep your lads waiting any longer than what you need to. Right, get in the freight market. Right, we'll just try and get something, and then we can uh, we can all try and make make a run out of it, however best we can. Right, what we've we got? Oh, Grimsby, that would get us across the water, wouldn't it? Uh, or Lyle. Felix store, look at that. That's one of them heavy um, odd loads. Right, like Carlisle, what if we go up to Carlisle? Anyone up for going up the way? Up to Carlisle way? I've got mine set to shortest route, uh, Chris, at the moment. Yeah. So it's just to get whatever we can, really, you know, just to... Ah, sorry to hear that, Lee. Yeah, it doesn't work, just, just get right in the way. It doesn't work for some reason, George. Could be, uh, could be mods. Right, you got Glasgow. Go Carlisle then, because that means we can, uh, we can go up to, we'll go up to Glasgow, Chris. After, after that. Ah well, Adam, I've just seen you. So we'll go uh, Carlisle, uh, Glasgow, do Chris's job, and then uh, we'll get across to Scandinavia. To for yourself, you know, if that's okay. LGA, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, just travel empty or just just pick a load up if you want. Just uh, carry a load around if you want to. Uh, not in this, we can't, no. Can't go to America, buddy. Uh, yeah, it'll definitely be some mod or something. Uh, I mean, I, strangely, I, I had a bit of trouble, but Mark had v very little. Uh, so Mark was laughing because <laughs> he was surprised when I had so much bother, but it's just one of them things, isn't it? Yes, Adam, picking his load up. Yeah, we'll do that, Adam. We'll get over to Scandinavian for you, buddy. Even if I can't get anything, we'll just follow you. It'll be so much uh, better when they get that. I don't know how difficult it is to sort a patch out, mind for truckers and be. It must be a nightmare. I can't imagine it's easy. How's farmer? Hiya, buddy. Over in Australia. Yeah, I hope it's good down there. What uh, now? You'll be going into your summertime, won't you? So it'll be springtime there, I would imagine. Yeah, that's what I would do, George. Uninstall everything. Make sure you've rolled it backwards properly, so you can get on Truckers MP. Unfortunately. Oh, I didn't show you my truck actually. Oh, I still, I still can't see it much, but that's me. That's what I'm in for tonight. I've had a couple of nights actually, I quite like it. Hair making season underwear, wow. Right, I'll just wait till these lads get uh, get sorted. 
Oh, Mandy Moore is driving as well. Do like having the ladies joining in. Got quite a few on the board there. Uh, Dylan, Victor, Voodoo, Jack Players, Banana. <laughs> Banana from Scotland. <laughs> I love everyone's names. I always think where have they come from, you know how people made them up. Mine came from a, um, it was a nickname I had at, at work, so. I see in England at the moment, Adam, uh, just Emma's got an interview tomorrow morning, so uh, they had no choice but to go today. Uh, is that you all sorted, everyone? Giving everyone trying to pick a load up. Yeah, you'll, you'll certainly be able to get on, but don't worry too much. I mean, this this patch has messed a lot of things up for everyone. Uh, if we get it put put right for the start of the month, it'll be good again, you know. But it's just one of them things, isn't it? It's the same for everybody. A banana from Scotland. <laughs> Uh, Tom, don't forget you can use uh, Y forward slash and fix, type fix in. Still 1.3 crazy, yeah. So. But yeah, totally understandable if anyone can't get a trailer and just wants to travel around for the fun of it. It's just one of them things we'll have to deal with. Sorry, I didn't. I had someone up behind us, and I thought if I stop here, I'm going to cause a pile up. So, uh, I want a pair of them groovy socks, mate. Yeah, Adam. Yeah, Adam I nearly said Adam. Adam. Uh, Amazon. That was my wife sorted of them out. <laughs> uh, Neil, I don't know. Oh, David. It's as long as everyone's happy with, with uh, who we have on, that's absolutely fine, you know. Uh, is that a long wheelbase nail? Uh, Rev Limit, are the clusters a long wheelbase? It's the one with the eight, eight wheels on, is it, at the back? Something like that. I don't know what the actual official name is. I presume it would be, with it being uh, the, the multi-wheel one. And it's got that uh, thing behind the cab, you know, the extra, I don't even know what it is, is it, is it fuel tanks or so? 8 by 4 thanks Adam. <laughs> this today in the post, uh, right, we're still working hard on, ah right, okay. Thanks Bosnia for that and uh, good evening to yourself. Yeah, the the world of trucks doesn't. Uh, I don't think it. I don't know. Does world of trucks have they got a patch that works yet? Because I don't even know if they've got that working at, the, at this moment. Yeah, truckers MP. I thought I was. I nearly said to you, it's. Uh, it's a wonder they hadn't put that out. Uh, Mandy, we've just got out of London, so. Now, is that the M6 we're heading towards? M1. We've just gone on the, uh, taking the slip road off to the M1. Heading to Birmingham. Yeah, server three, Mandy. I thought you were actually on the board here. I could, I could see you on my list before, Mandy, so. Right, so, so your World of Trucks account is uh, working with 1.32, that's good. Uh, 42's, crazy kid. Uh, on my single player that I started just when we started the Trucks book, I'm 38 now, level. I'm, not sh I'm just a bit short of 39. Uh, this account is a, a modded one that I've had right from last year when Mark got it sorted for me, so that's about 60 something I think. In-game ID, uh, it's Nevzam. 
It was really like Car Simulator in 2019 from... Uh, ah, right, okay, buddy. I don't actually think they do one, uh, to be fair. Yeah, third year in real life as well, yeah, I know. <laughs> it feels like it. Oh, the actual number. Uh, I'm 220 on the, on the board. And my ID number is 15009489. Uh, yeah, good Bosnia, yeah. I didn't see you sneak in there. I, uh, I must have been doing something at the time. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Uh, let's get speeded up here. Oh, I'm behind Chris. Ah, hi, Chris. So I know Chris has gone to Glasgow, so I'll do my Carlisle first and I'll follow him up there. Hiya, Dominic. I appreciate everyone doing the best though to um, to get something and very hard. Uh, me and Mark had a right chew on doing it, so Right, uh hiya keys on. Yeah that uh, the actual number you've got that now, that's good. Right, hiya George, quick question, can we use any truck to be part of the haul? You can use any truck, any colour scheme you want at all. The only thing that we did ask was just to get the um, the paint scheme that we use for the convoys, which is the special cargo, I believe. So I did try and make it simple for people just to sort of you know, but it's, it wasn't the best idea I've come up with. Yeah, Bosnia, it's uh, it's it's unreal, isn't it? High power cargo, thanks, Adam. <laughs> I get it wrong every time. I know. You'd think it would go in there. <laughs> oh, Greg, what did you get? Good wheel, uh, new wheel day. Evening, Richard. Yeah, Mark, Mark prefers, uh, yeah, Renault or Iveco is his personal favourite. That's his under the bed truck. His nighttime one. Absolutely, George. Yeah, the high power cargo, uh, now I believe that's a DLC skin, but on sale they're very, very cheap. So, uh, England tonight, uh, Delty. Yeah, we're travelling from London up to Carlisle and Glasgow. Got a Logitech. Wow, what a difference! Saw so your first wheel. Exciting. Uh, Tom, you on your side? You're going to need to F7 it, buddy, because uh, that's not doing it properly. Yeah, he's just had to uh, travel tonight, John, to get go back to England for something. There's Malky at full speed. Good choice on the Logitech, though. Your first wheel, though. How exciting. My first homemade... Oh, your first homemade wheel. Wow. That's certainly doable. Uh, got to say. Okay, Tom. Ah, if you're on your side, buddy, there's nothing you can do. You could uh, transport yourself up to sort of Birmingham area if you wanted to um, uh, jump ahead of us. Oh, Neil. Just trying to think where I am. Yeah, you could get to Birmingham Red Spanner because we're not at Birmingham yet. Ah! Where's that our friend there? Didn't see his, I didn't see his number there. Lovely seeing the police car out. <laughs> I 
don't know whether that was Keevan or not, I, never, I just never got the chance to see. Right. Tom, you'll be in Cambridge. Uh, right, unless you can jump ahead to Birmingham would be your best bet. Ah, it was Kieran. Uh, I, was, I was going to give you a shout on the way past, but I, I just couldn't read the writing fast enough. There's Lionel in the hurry, or Lion. <laughs> it was one of the two. He was either a Lion or a Lionel. Hey Adrian, are you feeling good? Ah, Hutchie! How's it going Hutch? Someone was just mentioning you before, Mr Hutch. You're just sitting back relaxing Hutch, are you, are you going to follow about and have a drive about? Hey Jamie Wignall. Not driving no yet, yeah, please. If you get caught, it's uh, you've been fair warned. We're going to Carlisle, yeah, Carlisle, and then up to Glasgow. So, ah, right, thanks, Richard. Ah, that that that's why then. He normally comes in chat, Kevin, actually, so uh, unless I've missed him, I don't think I have. Hello, Dennis. My God, you've made my day. I know. My giddy aunt. How are you? De oh, he can have a wave, Dennis. How are you, sir? I hope all's well. Wow just talking about uh, when it started in the old farming days and uh, you know people are first knew from that and it's come a long way since then but it's flown over. Hi Adam, yeah good. Hi Russell Smith. Yeah even better now uh, Dennis is back in. I mean that's got to be five months since I spoke to you. Ryan Rainbow like the name. Right, your first wheel. Uh, oh, T three hundred RS. Good wheel. I've, I've managed to pick that. Uh, what actually happened, then, Dennis? So, if you've been bad health, I I wasn't aware of it. I've got to say. Because I would have uh, I would have sent you a private message. So I, I must apologise. I I didn't know you'd been bad. Uh, good Bradley, yeah, can't, can't complain at all. It'd be nice for us to say when we can all go back to normal getting a job, but we've just got to do what we can. That's good Russell, not a problem. Yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow night for everybody. Uh, and, I mean, don't forget to keep an eye out in case Truckers MP get a fix out. We'll all have to change back over. Uh, Adam, yes, uh, there's always someone on uh, 9 o'clock till 11. I, I don't know how long we've managed to keep it up for. Uh, I, I think there's only when I was at Truck Fest that, that I haven't been on. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we've done well. I, th I personally think we've done very well to, to make sure that there's at least someone on on the night. And Mark's done incredibly well, having there uh, what the stuff he's had out. So yeah, you'd have a lot to look back on if you um, if you're just getting tuned back in. Right. Uh, so many Adams. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> imagine what it's like in my in my my, my brain. Hey Fraser. Dylan Davies, nice truck buddy, and don't get me wrong, I, I, I totally appreciate everyone's trying to paint the trucks, uh, and, and it does look 
it does look good but it's there's nothing like them all in the same paint scheme i've got to say i've, I've seen, i showed myself up one day because uh go on buddy i was parked up and everyone took a picture and obviously i was the one with the the, the wrong one <laughs> so I, I kind of uh what can i say I don't, Adam. Uh, I've, I, I've only ever sat in one truck to my my recollection, only one, and that was in a passenger seat. So uh, I've never dr never never been t for driving one. Uh, so so yeah, certainly get the easy job. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for you uh, truckers out there who do it for real. Uh, Especially when you look at the parking and the, the navigation through traffic, <laughs> we we have it so easy. <laughs> hey, Torrent, especially as the roads have got so busy. I, I mean, I noticed that as a service engineer, just how busy they were getting. So, how you manage to get around the cities and that? Right, you have one main piece. Yes, uh, just got one uh, gun. So touch wood. I've got a backup one that I, I did use uh, uh, a bit less than a year ago when mine was giving me a lot of problems, So, but that's in bits. <laughs> uh, right, you had a little... Now, uh, you said a little span, uh, de uh, Dennis, you might have uh, mistyped that. I mean, the main thing is, I mean, because of course you're a window cleaner as well, so that's been time off work for you as well. Thanks, Cool It uh, Town. Cool, cool Kid in Town. Sorry, buddy. Yes, uh, that's all thanks to, to you all. You, you guys have done that by uh, subscribing, so. Hi hey Adam, uh, right Neil, come to Thrucks and Truck Show next year, there is a track and you get to drive your own truck around. Oh wow! Oh wow, that's good Adam, wow! What a nice kind offer that is! I mean Mark was talking about the, the Peter, but I mean my, my biggest trouble is, is travelling, unfortunately. It's the, the been sitting down for long periods of time and uh, general you know the old days of sleeping in it you know just roughing it i can't i just can't do we look at your truck fest edinburgh because i could stay with mark and emma and uh they, they'd do the best to you know I, I could just get back and and lie down and don't do anything else so i was very very lucky oh mandy uh drive a daf xf in real life now here's the thing mandy would that be your chosen truck to drive um, if you could pick your own truck I mean I, I do like the daft that we get to use in this but that's completely different than real life I, I get that yeah thanks Richard for that uh, no not all day Malky don't, I don't all day it would be a nice thought. Here's the police car coming past. Oh, Russell, you're seeing Mark next weekend? Hi, keys home. You've got to feel safe when the police car's around. Oh, sorry, Malky, no. I was going to say, most people are aware of me, and, and rather than just go over the same stuff I go over, you know, so that's fine. Uh, oh, a strain, uh, Dennis Scott. Sorry, Dennis, chat moved very fast there. By the time I'd look down and back up again. Uh, brilliant, but a bit, oh, a bit small inside, right. See, that's the thing we don't doesn't really come across in uh, in this world that we're playing yeah you don't uh, 
wrong in a second. We're going to go crash looking for something. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is, Chris. Uh, just, I don't know. It's just, it's just that nice feeling, isn't it? It actually feels like when you're here with the police in real life, you know, because you you think you're doing something wrong. <laughs> ah, right, storage-wise, yeah. Uh, Russell, we're off to Carlisle to for myself and whoever got the same job, and then we've got to go up to Glasgow, and then we'll try and pick a a job over to uh, Sweden. Ah, Keyzoom. Thanks for popping into the chat, buddy. Yeah, how many miles to the gallon are you getting out of the uh, police car? Yeah, what am I getting, actually? Let's come to think of that. I do like to keep an eye on the uh, MPG. Uh, oh, 5.4. I was just thinking the other day, uh, someone said they were getting maybe 30 plus. Now, would that be li litres? Per mile would that still work out uh, yeah I'm trying to work I was trying to work out because we had this debate the other day because out in the truck was it quite realistic I thought if you're getting like seven and eight miles to gallon it would be but that's good in the old gallons isn't it you know but convert that to liters uh, maybe I'm confusing myself uh, Ed, Ed put, okay, I, I, I'll be, uh, I'll be quite frank. I, embarrassingly, I don't know, I don't know what place to run at the moment. Uh, sadly. Uh, make sure I've got my lights on full blast. Sorry, uh, buddy, I did have my lights on full blast as well. Hey, Craig Cooper. But yeah, it's 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 lovely seeing the lads come out for a drive out as well in the uh, in the police car. I've got to uh, make such a, such a, so much better. Right, not in realistic truck. Mine is about ah. You see, that's the thing we're talking about, Adam. Because someone had come on and said their truck got between thirty and forty uh, miles to the gallon, and that, that just. I just couldn't work that out because I, I thought this was about average, you know. Uh, gone past Birmingham now. Uh, I'm 61 mile, 60 mile from Carlisle, so. Sorry, my dry mouth there. Oh, Dennis, I totally made. I, yeah, you, you, what a difference you'll have. I, I hope you're on when you get it. You have you any particular, uh, well, let us know anyway, if you haven't, if you need any advice, Mark's always about, uh, if you tell him what your budget is, buddy. We will meet you there. Okay, Tom. But that'll be exciting for you, Dennis. I, I mean, there's people playing with a controller, you know, the Xbox, the, the normal Xbox controller. Uh, everyone's, Mark, Mark managed it okay, but I couldn't imagine playing with the wheel. I'm bad enough in Grand Theft Auto. He will, Russell, you're absolutely right. He loves to, uh, he's a bit shy of talking. Hello, Den uh, I, nearly, I nearly called Darren Dennis as well. <laughs> Evening, Darren. How are you this evening? You have had a good Monday, I hope. Uh, ah, Dennis going for the G. Yeah, Logitech range. Good choice, buddy. Good sensible price as well, aren't they? You know, the, you know. Uh, you get quite a lot for for your money. Uh, ah, you played two two years with a, a PlayStation. Yeah, Bosnia, I know, it's, I suppose if you're kicking back, like, you know, just, you know, you're not wanting to actually be in the, like, we try to get in the driving position, you know. Yeah, good, Darren, really good. 
Yeah, looking for Mark. Look forward to seeing Mark uh, week. I'll see him a week on Friday. So, 249 on the euros. Ah, right then. I don't know how that. Uh, I, you know, I don't know what you'd get it for over here. Might be about the same. I don't know. You got plenty of choice over there, Dennis. Or do you have to? Will, will you have to sort of get it? From abroad, well, I don't want it abroad because you're already in. Uh, you know what I mean. We're quite lucky; you can go down to your local curries or something like that and just get one. You know, so that's what I mean. Are they readily available? <laughs> that's my word. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be. Uh, Mark would be so pleased to know that you've uh, up and about again. He's nowhere. Bosnia. Right, say hello to Tracy Davis for me. I'm watching uh, watching you and she's going to bed. Okay, Russell. What, you tucked up in your truck, are you? I take it that's what you meant. Okay, Tracy, you look after yourself. I'm sure Russell sends his best in the best possible way. 223 pounds. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, is, you know, are they readily available where, you know, you can, you know, you've got places to buy them from. Maybe he's not explaining myself well. Sometimes I think we're quite lucky in England, but of course, Fnatic, we've got to get from Germany as well, so. Uh, <laughs> Hiya, Michael. But you can call me Neil if you want. Uh, 1400 hours with the keyboard. Wow. That's uh, That's got to be commended, that. Yeah, I noticed mine in uh, Steam as well. I don't know if I had about 700 hours or something on. <laughs> so, that's crept up a bit. Yeah, I know. You, yeah, Dennis, you're right. Unless you know where it's come from. Can you imagine getting one of Mark's? <laughs> very, li light, li very light use. I know you'll be listening anyway, so I can I can say that kind of thing. Hiya, simulator guy. How are you? All right, I'm a bit lost off here. I'll get... Netherlands, sorry, um, Dennis, I put you in the wrong country, mate. I do apologise. I know you like potholing. Uh, yeah, we got a big discount on it. <laughs> never, never raced, never raced or rallied. <laughs> It's funny when I did that drop in London, it was exactly the same uh, place. Right, we're going to go to Glasgow now. So I'm just going to run up empty, so anyone's welcome to uh, follow us up that way. So we can meet at, the, at Glasgow Red Spanner. Oh, I've done that again. Neil, what are you doing? Catches me out every time, that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, come back. Does anyone know how to get me mouse back? <laughs> oh, why? I forget I've got it on. Oh, you tool, Neil. Oh, why do I forget I've done that? Is there any way you can get that up back on? Your cursor. No, there isn't, is there not? Uh, F11. Yeah, F11 gets rid of it. But then my mouse, the cursor's stuck. So is there any way I can move the cursor? Press escape. No, it won't let me. 
just the, the cursor stuck. Tab, yeah, tab is a good idea. No, no tab either. Tab and. Oh no, don't do this to me. Don't panic, Mr. Manorin. <laughs> oh no, you so silly. No, F, oh, F9. No. So I can't even escape it, can I? Uh, right. See if I can go back if that works. No. Unplug the mouse. I would if I could reach, unfortunately. It's, uh, oh, hang on a sec. <laughs> As it happens, I have got it plugged in here. What a good idea. It, it was plugged down behind me pedals on the bottom, so there was no way I was going to be able to get that. Right, it works in. What oh, did it nearly come on there? Oh, what a tool. Last time, last time I moved the uh, the tab box as well. I did that. Click tab and then right mouse click, right mouse button. No, nothing. Computer geeks. There's only one way to do it then. Let's get rid of the thing. I'll be back in a second. No, Adam, you know when you click on your tab menu so you can bring the tab box round and then you right click on the um, on the screen so you can scroll through it. Uh, I forgot to undo that and, that and my mouse wouldn't work. Wrong mark. <laughs> yeah, I, t I tell you what, it can only happen to me. <laughs> Be, be with you in a second. Ah, it's do, I've done it before and I've pressed F11 and uh, the box goes away and usually the mouse works still. I'll just leave it where it is for now. I'll not done, let's do that again. Amando, hiya, how are you doing? Uh, oh, sorry. F5, you thought. Ah, if it happens again, I'll try that. Once she loads up. Uh, yeah, exactly. Bugged it in the tab screen, yeah. Yeah, it's just one of them things. I say normally F11 gets rid of it. I think it's if you've already right-clicked on your mouse, though, when you uh, reactivate it. Come on, open up. Any second now. Right, how do you know the light Mark uses on his... Ah, right, there's a good question, Barefoot. I, I actually don't know the answer. Uh, has he... Did he do a video on it? That's the only thing I can think. I don't know whether he did a one where he was fitting them lights under his shelf, unless anyone actually knows. I know, I know. I yeah, know, Adam, it's one of them things, yeah. So if anyone knows what lights he did use, I'm pretty sure there are Amazon ones. Right, I'm going to leave that box exactly where it was, so. Sorry, everybody. Uh, Ikea. Uh, he got the shelf units and that, because uh, I got my ones from Ikea as well, but I don't know about the actual lights. You could be right, mind. Right, I'm just going to set my sat nav for the red spanner in Glasgow and follow you all up there. Right. Sorry about that. Good one now. Right, 
right, uh, okay, Michael. Uh, Dave, yeah, <laughs> Dave's doing good. He's uh, soon to have his. Uh, uh, Kevin is is being born as we speak. So, right, lads, there we go. Sorry lads. Oh sorry. I tried to I tried to miss you, buddy. <laughs> Poor lad ran into the actual uh, arm core. I'm not gonna say that I've ever done that. But I have. Don't forget smarties you can use the uh, Y forward slash fix. Right, and we're off and running again. Oh, I'm so pleased to see your name back on there, Dennis, I've got to say. Likewise, anyone I haven't spoke to in ages. Hiya, Matthew. Uh, you're listening to... <laughs> I, don't know what I don't know what Dave's on. He's looking all right. I, he really, really is uh, good, Dennis. Uh, he's not looking forward to moving again, but it's just one of them things. Um, he's just, it's no choice, really. He'll, he'll find just the right place uh, for them both. Oh, you got 28% damage. Sorry about that, buddy. That was my quick thinking. Yeah, I don't know what he listens to. Um, he's very good. Oh, it's 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 not something that the uh, that they're looking forward to, obviously. But right, hi, a big Kev. Okay, uh, Kev, yeah, sorry we're a little bit delayed myself, but we're on our way now. Good, Matthew. Yeah, can't grumble at all. I, I, lo I love being on. Yeah, really enjoying myself. Not sure if that's stuck my buttons off. Uh, I know that's unplugging my mouse. <laughs> Never mind, I'll reset them up, that's no drama. Sorry the peeping, it's just my alert for going over 59 mile an hour for me race miles. <laughs> uh, yeah, the admin's there, so just go careful. You can't get any worse than me, so... Where is Project Cars? That was last uh, night, unfortunately, CGM, and we did knock hill. And we must apologise first and foremost because we did say it would be Monday night. Uh, unfortunately, Mark was going to have to be away this evening, and uh, we had someone else join us, uh, John, who bought all the DLC ready. So rather than disappoint him, we did it last night. So, so we'll do it again. Yeah, it was good. We had, it was good fun. Uh, Russell, uh, yes, it is the M6 Ron, buddy. Yeah, just what we're 68 miles from Glasgow, so. And we'll get another job, hopefully. Right, we'll try next week to join the co Oh, wow, Dennis, that'll be good. Yeah, hey, don't forget, Dennis, uh, you'll be aware that there's been a, a new update for Euro Truck. So we're having to run on the old, uh, the slightly older version. So by the time you get yours working, it might all be uh, all compatible again. So 
just in case you had a problem when you went to try. Yes, Russell. Uh, yeah, way past that, buddy, because I've just dropped in Carlisle. So. Yeah, I'm not sure how, how the uh, scaling works for the game. Uh, it's quite clever, actually. I, I, I wondered how it would uh, look in real life, you know, when I got to play the game, when Mark used to tell me about it, and I kind of couldn't see it until I tried it and thought it just made sense. Yeah, Michael's saying the fix is already out. Is that right? Ah, hiya, Simon. How are you tonight? Uh, CGM, of course you can come on buddy, uh, it's just you need uh, Truckers MP, Server 3, no cars, and we're going to meet up in Glasgow. So get yourself to Glasgow however which way you can. Uh, for the sink jobs, that's World of Trucks, Michael. So, and that'll be in 1.32, I would imagine. Someone told me that was working, I think. Uh, Jez, I know, and you know, we don't mention that. <laughs> you know the rule. <laughs> uh, Richard, he might be on about um, World of Trucks, not Truckers MP. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get back on. Uh, when I relaunched the game, it, it hadn't been updated. Hiya Deli, sorry if I missed you earlier. Ah right, yeah, the, track, the patch for World of Trucks is out and not compatible with our current version, that's exactly what I thought. Thanks for clearing that up. Hiya train spot. Uh, really like, yeah, that's it CJ, we'll go pretty much uh, around where you are. No, I, I, Chris, as I say, I unfortunately have to restart my game, so I knew, I knew that. Everyone's just eager to, uh, you know, for it to come out, so but we'll get there. It's only a small blip. Uh, yeah, good, buddy. You had a really good day today. I mean, I would have been on with Mark anyway. Um, we would have been Project Carvin tonight and we would have done Grand Theft Auto last night, so. Um. Ah, okay, Craig, got you now, buddy. Yeah, it never feels the same if you. <laughs> Hiya, gangster. Mods said they will let us know when it comes. Okay, gangster. Thanks for that. Yeah, I think everyone's it'll, it, it'll get put put on our Facebook page. Uh, oh yeah, thank you, buddy. Sorry, whoever I've just crashed into. I thought you were peeping to let me out. Sorry, buddy. I actually thought you were reminding me that I was going to crash into the Armco. <laughs> right, yeah, I need me fix. Let me get fixed here. Apologise about that, buddy. Eh, why did that work? Ah, oh, I can't. I can't get fixed. I haven't got a trailer. Uh, Mandy, if that was yourself I crashed into, I really apologise. I, again, I thought it was, uh, you were letting me know I was in the wrong lane. Right, I'll be at the Red Spanner. Uh, Russell, uh, how come, how are you meeting Mark next week? Is it next Friday or Saturday? Uh, right, Chris, uh, Truckers MP just launched a new look system. Oh, wow, that's good. Yeah, I never thought uh, that doesn't work without a trailer. That catches me out all the time. Because like, I'm, I'm normally have a trailer on. 120,000. 
Oh, you're driving. Uh, you're driving down to see him. What? Where? Where? To Scotland. Ah, Christmas Eve anyway. That's good to know. Again, massive apology to whoever I ran into. I think it was Mandy. Uh, right, I am. Ah, I've rustled your power in furnace. Wow. Well, I had some. Uh, I, used to, I used to go across there to work, obviously from the northeast of England. Uh, I used to work in the Lake, Lake District two or three, two or three days a week. And uh, you, you've got to go around to Barrow, and then you get another job round at Millham, round the corner, and it. It's just not round the corner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, I had some fun jobs then. It's about three hours to get home, something like that. Remember the days. Oh yeah, I definitely rammed uh, somebody. There's no doubt about that. That was my bad. As I say, I thought... I thought he was just uh, telling me that I was uh, I was in the wrong lane, so I just reacted by saying, "Oh yeah." <laughs> uh, ah, sorry, Mandy. Yeah, I probably really apologise. I say I just uh, just in the, in the moment while I was reading, looked down, and I thought, "I'm I'm going to hit that." Uh, this month on trucks booking the whole. Oh wow! Oh, we actually are number one. Sorry if the stream's lagging a bit there. It's, I've just noticed the output. Right, uh, I had to take care of something. Okay, keys, keys are up. No problem. Yeah, well, I hope you didn't see what I did, but uh, I would hold my hands up to it. <laughs> it's just one of them. You just can't have your eyes on the road, unfortunately. It's not a good thing we uh, uh, admit to. Right, what time is it now? Uh, see, I can go to Christie and Sand Adam. So I'm going to ask Adam this because he wanted to go across. That goes down to Grimsby and over through Denmark. So I'll see if that would do for you. Yeah, I've just seen that, Chris. I've got the uh, Christie and Sand, the ventilation shaft and see if we could all get something whether it's uh in that uh, that area hi scott's gamer we're at glasgow at the moment uh hi craig by the way i'm good news for, for next oh that's good buddy that must be always up in the air for you lads who were racing in real life getting the funding for that i have Okay, uh, right, we'll take that, Chris. Take the, uh, I'm going to Christian Sand, so please, anyone take any Scandinavian jobs and we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do what we can to fit everyone in. You're right, I'm still on low air pressure. Right, Tom, we're going to Scandinavia. Uh, Christian Sand is where I'm heading. I think Adam's going to get one to Trellborg, so we'll, he'll tell me whether to do mine first or follow him. That's where that's where someone comes in handy for. <laughs> right, new PC coming next week. Ac excellent, Mason. That, I tell you what, mind uh, for anybody who's watching, and then all of a sudden you can take part. Uh, you know, that's that's fantastic, that. Because it must be awful when you can just watch and you want to get joining in. Who's that? If we all just go to Christian. Ah, right, okay, I've got you, um, buddy. Then you run into the barrier. You're at the sim in two. Oh, you're at the sim in two weeks. Wow. 
That'll be interesting how you find that. Right. Yeah, that'll be interesting how you get on. Yeah, uh, Chris has got the Christian sound one. I hope everyone else has got something anyway. Uh, are you at your house in ETS, Scott? Uh, what do you mean streaming now? Yes, I, I'm at my house, yeah. If, if that's what you meant, buddy. I'll ring you tomorrow and meet you too when I meet Mark. Ah, what's up? Are you, are you meeting us while we're down with Richard? Is that what you mean? Uh, did I pick my trailer? <laughs> yeah, I sometimes think I've forgotten to pick my trailer up. <laughs> yeah, Craig, no, both got one each and uh, with the distance we live, but you know, I had one uh, when I first bought all my gear, you know, so I've had mine, oh, I, I, what, three years maybe, something like that? But just such a, such, just such a good wheel. Just the right size, you know. Uh, okay, buddy. Well, I say I'll be with Mark anyway. Richard's taken us. Come to pick us up on the Friday. Are you Brian? Uh, as he's in England at the moment. And he's day off tomorrow, so unfortunately he couldn't get what he needed to do all in one day, so. Right, I'm just pottering along here, lads, so I know everyone's out. Uh, no, Scott, I don't have Twitch at all. I think Mark's got Instagram, I think that's the one he's got. Yes, you're right, uh, Chris. Ah, oh, Carl, you can't. We can go down to Grimsby, though, buddy. I take it that's the uh, DLC bit. Need to try and let everyone get caught up. Is that it, everyone about? Uh, ah, right, okay. Oh, Bill, yeah. Oh, Billy's done well. Horrible accident, that. I, I presume you would have been racing with him at the time, I, I would presume. Hiya, Scott. Uh, it said, "Yeah, Chris, don't forget it takes it. It only shows you the driven mileage in the uh, job market. But in this, it uh, adds on the um, the ferry distance. But in trucks book, you only get allocated the driven mileage. So, you know, it works it out in the end." But uh, yeah, uh, Craig, being reserve driver, that's that's a that's got to be a big thing. That such an expensive hobby. I remember Mark doing a bit of go kart, and then you, you could see how expensive things could get from there. Uh, yeah, and our uh, our very own uh, William, who looks after the the sort of truck book side of things for us and he said he stopped rallying for the same reason just the uh, sheer expense hey a monkey yeah been good buddy very right, good good ride out we're doing what we can you know making up what we what we can do trailer is there you go nice little shot oh yeah wrong don't do it wrong, Neil. 
Uh, TV and cab at London. Okay, Russell. Yeah, definitely, Russell. Yeah, look forward to that. Yeah, that would be absolutely brilliant. Good when you can put uh, a face to, to a name, you know, just make a difference for us. Yeah, thanks, Monkey. Yeah, uh, we're just doing what we can until we get all these load things sorted out. But you know, everyone's been absolutely fine. You know, to have take to the most. Yeah, computing and photography. Yeah, it's it's good photography though. Ah, you transport. <laughs> oh, who's that? That me Mandy. Oh no, it's Chris. Chris Buddy. Uh, <laughs> too many fakes on the internet. Well, I tell you what, Russell. I mean, it's when you get uh, trolled, like you know, it's it must be a laugh for whoever's doing it to you, but <laughs> it, it, it's it's hard. Oh, I might just right. Someone's gonna win it. Uh, Adam, so... Hi, Keyzone. Are you back on it again? <laughs> Alright, you're a Scanny or an Iveco. Um, oh, either. Either. It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me either way. Iveco for the laugh. You know, for the... Just for the, the, the jo jocular factor, you know. It's funny because you, you could drive around in a Scania on, on here and no one would really bat an eyelid. So I suppose I get more comments about the iMeco. Uh, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, from like a, an attracting conversation point of view, without the iMeco, it's kind of a. You could just say, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Scanny fan and that's it, but, you know, there's so many nice trucks out there. Hello, Fordy, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, he's still racing. Uh, no, I'm definitely not a fake, that's for sure. That, well, that, that's one thing, isn't it? We're like an easy pick in here, aren't we? So, uh, I'll tell you in a minute, buddy. Give us a, give, give us a second. Uh, right, my ID number is one five double zero nine four eight. Let us know if you didn't get that buddy and I can, uh, I'll re-see it. Ah, Darren, I never thought that you would, uh, you would know Fordy as well. Uh, obviously from the, the days that I wasn't racing, but Mark was already racing with you all. The smaller number is 63. Okay, so I'm six, six, three. Uh, right, I would say, yeah, you're welcome, buddy, no problem. Ah, Craig's got a scanny. Yeah, it is, uh, mm -hmm. I've got to say, what kind of trailer do you have for towing your formula car, or is that taken to the track for you? Or do you have to have your own, you know, just trying to think how it all works when you've got them couldn't imagine you're finishing your race and having to take your, your car out it's quite an expensive thing to have at home isn't it right st steady lads steady on mm -hmm. good level head scanny for the win <laughs> absolutely Right, the auto... 
Right, I'm going to buy a G29 with shifter for some two pairs of Nikes. One pair. Oh, wow. Well, that doesn't sound bad. Well, provided that you're into them, you know. They've been sat in the outside lane since Glasgow. Uh, right. I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll pick that up if uh, if they're not. They've been warned to behave themselves. If. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no need. I mean, there's, there's so little traffic on the road, so. Hello, Chris. How are you today? Yeah, definitely good. Uh, what are you playing at the moment? Chris uh, PS4 is uh, the, the one who lives closest to me that I, that I know of. Ah, Tom, you're in front of me. Ah, right. It's all the different names. Uh, <laughs> that's so confusing. Hiya, Malky. How's it going? But yeah, gangster, that sounds... Uh, well, I don't know how much Nikes are, but I presume you're talking over 100 quid, I, I presume. Yeah, Darwin, I nearly asked you the other day, do you still have eye racing? Yeah, I've still got my eye racing. I was actually, uh, I was just making a skin for the, um, the Mazda. <laughs> so, I was making a, a, an Armstrong Haulage skin. <laughs> so, it's been that long since I've made it a skin for anything. Well here's the police car coming so you've all been warned. The whole thing together, 400 quid, wow. Okay Tom, yeah I figured it was that one, yeah what as I say. Uh, yeah watch what he's all doing. Yeah, so Darwin, I don't think I'll have ever been on uh, iRacing with you, because I, I don't think I ever got on with uh, Ford either uh, on iRacing, I don't think so. There's only Mark's uncle Sean who used to play um, some of the oval racing. I, I, there was talk of them bringing AI out for the, uh, for the iRacing, which I was quite looking forward to, but... I say we're not playing in uh, project cars, I mean it's, you know, the eye are very, very clever. Right, is there any games where to test out cars on roads, PC games? Um, I mean, are you meaning anything different than a set of Corsa? You know, because the uh, a set of course are some of the um, what, we, what might be classed as hill climb cars, they're, they're road courses. It's my, um, I've got a warning sound on my truckers, truck's book. So, because when you're driving you don't want to go into race mileage, which is about 62 miles an hour. So I have it set to go off at 59, just gives me time to, uh, to slow the truck down. So that that's all it is, yeah. Just just speed. Because you 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 laugh because sometimes you go down a hill and you're like, you just don't think you're going that that much faster, but you then click into this uh, race mileage and that's your whole job gone. So I I do think it makes a difference to do that. It certainly helped me. Yeah, I, I can't remember which stream I was showing everyone because someone else was asking and said, oh yeah, uh, that would be a good help. And yeah, I just set it that little bit slower. Uh, there you go, buddy. Thank you, in. Because I say, if you're doing something, it, like you're going downhill, it's amazing how, how quick you can, even in, um, even with, um, external contract where you're limited to 56 you can still go over quite easy 
I don't know if was Matt doing it. Uh, did he get any other reviews done today on the truck shifters? Because uh, when he comes down to pick me up a week Friday, he's going to bring one down. Hopefully, fingers crossed, all been all been well. That'll be exciting. Ah, I did them. Ah, excellent. So. Ah, so you've seen the man one that uh, he's bringing down for myself. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, thanks, Mandy and Andy be picking his minion up as well, so that'll be good. Uh, the TVs uh, and uh, forty-two. Oh yes, he has got a, a shirt, a polo shirt as well, yeah. Wow, forgot about that, thanks for reminding me about that. Yeah, I'll have something to stream in. I love my Iveco one. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, I mean down here, oh, someone's overcooked the... Um I don't know who that is. That's definitely not doing it right. Yeah, I didn't see who that was. Uh, it's 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 um, sorted now, buddy. Not not a problem. I think it was just going a bit fast over the top. Just an F7 job. I don't know who it was. That oh, was Will. Ah, okay. I'm not sure where he'll uh, he'll get recovered. That's a nice part of the world here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Mark's away this evening. He had to go away. To tonight rather than tomorrow yeah Adam uh, I can't remember oh must have done a few weeks ago but yeah it's a really really nice road it's not the road I got trolled on badly or I don't think it is this one uh, yeah he's absolutely fine yeah thanks for th thanks for asking it's it's more f something for Emma that she needed to do tomorrow. Ah, uh, uh, right, that was po Poland and then carried up into Scandinavian, didn't it? That's right. Gangster, you going to go trucking? That's good, come and join in. Hello, Greg. Sorry, buddy, nearly missed your name there. I was looking. How the devil are you? Uh, good, I hope, anyway. Uh, Will, just let us know if you're going to sort of teleport or... Yeah, oh, yeah, good, Greg. Good. Yeah, being a nice... Just trying to make the most of uh, until all the updates are all done and... Hello, Weasel. Yes, good day today. Yes. Can't, uh, can't grumble at all. And I played a Grand Theft Auto this afternoon and... Um, I bought a dump, tr a dump truck. <laughs> you know one of the big yellow mining trucks? It reminded me of my old Tonka toy. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that looks awesome in the streets. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, you can you can flatten police cars with it. So I had a little bit of um, <laughs> destruction. <laughs> I love going in, blowing things up. 
I know, Jack, uh, I actually said that before, I got myself confused. Someone asked where Mark was, I said, is his day off? <laughs> uh, Chris going to Christian Sand. So, just uh, follow your sat nav, buddy. Gaming with Tom, how are you? Yeah, anyway, Jack, how are you doing? Yeah, they needed to be back over in England tonight, buddy, so it was just... They, they couldn't do it tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah, me and my Tonka toys, I know. <laughs> I like my Tonka toys. I, I'm not even going to apologise for them because they were mint. How can you not like a Tonka toy? Has anyone... Uh, yeah, you mentioned toys there, so I've, as it comes to my mind, has anyone got a favourite toy? Either a favourite toy you wish you'd kept, or you've still got. Uh, no gaming, it's just me uh, BMW wheel. I've, it's usually on the shelf, so I was trying it for a little bit of uh, racing, just for a change, you know, just because just you can, you know. Okay, Will. Uh, where in Grimsby? How far, how far outside of Grimsby are we, Adam? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're, we can't be far from Grimsby now. Hot Wheels. I tell you what, hardcore. I don't know. I don't know whether you've ever watched. Uh, Forza Horizon 3 and the Hot Wheels track uh, I was lucky enough to have it bought for me and but it's so clever it, it really the the way it's all just like it was but just on a big scale so it really is good yeah two miles so will if you've got any chance to get to Grimsby Right, remote control Ford F-150 truck. What scale would that be? Oh, now that's the thing. You wish you kept your last... Ah, well. That's uh, that's why I kept mine, you see. I kept my first one. I kept my first one so I wouldn't have to put that. <laughs> Oh, train sets are good, yeah, I must admit. Eh, uh, Cool Cookie, I'm, yes, he does have the hoodies, because I'm pretty sure Mark has one. Okay, uh, Will. Oh, you've still got the Italia 1990 edition of the Oh, a Beauty or one, have you? Oh, that's good. Uh, well, I mean, just I, I was 15 at the time, so apart from the uh, the so-called everyone's got a girlfriend sort of thing, you know, but that would be my first proper girlfriend, yeah. So my wife was 15, uh, 16 then, so. Hey, Welsh Trucker Paul. Yeah, thanks, Gambler. Yeah, I, I did want to say it conclusively. Oh, Lego, I've still got some Lego all uh, wrapped up and uh, the trouble with technical Lego, which I, I loved. I had a Lego train set, which I wish I kept all them years ago, but still not as good as what you would get now. But I, I loved, uh, yeah, just Lego. Very, very big favourite. Hiya, Kevin, how are you today? You being busy, buddy? I think that's probably what leads us on to end up in the games, isn't it, really? Uh, connects. Yeah, Mark, I'm, I'm trying to think. Mark had connects. Yeah, see, that, of course, it wasn't out when I was a kid. So it was like Lego or Meccano. That was the two choices you had. 
Yeah, there's, Kevin, here, there's Will coming straight in with my car now, yeah. Hiya Ben, how's it going? Ah, Paul, ah, I saw you. <laughs> it's not like me to get mixed up, Paul. Yes, good old Meccano, I know. Well, in the days, uh, see, because I had three elder brothers, so stuff that they had and didn't want anymore kind of came down to myself, so. Um, you know, that's sort of how we ended up with like bigger sets of things. Chain sets and things. It's one thing I, I liked about the farming and I suppose this game, it's it's almost like playing in your old toys. <laughs> you know where you used to push them around the floor? Well now you're actually in the cab. So <laughs> that's my uh, way I like to think of it anyway. I have been over yet. Yeah. I didn't. I know sometimes when you come in with a different uh, name, I'm, I don't want to use the wrong person. Imagine saying that to someone I hadn't been formally introduced to. <laughs> Here's the thing you're talking about Meccano. One thing I used to like to build was these, um, you know, the dockyard cranes that you could build, you know, the big, the big ones, you know. Just seen some there and it reminded me. I mean, I would have had uh, uh, train sets and things like that always interested me, but uh, doing, doing this now has replaced all that, I've got to say. Uh, Chris, no, um, well, there's the, the farm and my war thunder, uh, the driving sort of things that I play, you know, on and off. Just depending on how I feel during the day kind of thing, you know. But ne never did I think I'd be uh, farming and, tr and trucking as much. Of course, I never laughed at Mark when he was trying to get me into it. Never would I do that. <laughs> I can say that because he's not there to remind me. Oh, I nearly have done it again. Right, get rid of that. Push that. There we go. Oh, mines, mine sweeper. I can. I'm trying. I'm, I'm. Well, I can remember the name. I'm trying to think of the uh, the format of the game. Uh, uh, someone mentioned Sibutio before as well. There was another little uh, game called Striker, uh, which you pushed the button on top of the head and it it, it, it flicked the ball. So. Uh, it's the beauty of I've got bad memories because of my uh, my older brothers being that much better than me at it because I was the youngest I I got beaten at everything so yeah I don't know I, yeah I, I don't have so many good memories about that unfortunate but mm -hmm. they were doing what brothers do you know you play the win don't you so. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was the PC window. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think if I've. St it, it, well, that, that must be still in some of the uh, PCs, will it not? Yeah. Ah, okay, Kevin, yeah. I'll have to have a look at that. Oh, hardcore, there's the thing, racing ski electrics before bed. I'll tell you what I used to like to do uh, for Marky, or, I mean, I would have done it for my daughter, but she didn't like them, so, uh, you know, make something out of Lego or something that he would have to play with the next day. Uh, I used to like to do that, so he'd come down in the morning or whatever and, like, I'd make something, you know. Snake on the Nokia. I see, I, I don't know uh, phone stuff. Hi Irish Wills. The PC with locks. Uh, 
Oh, I don't know that. You might have to jog my memory a bit more than that. But scale electrics and yeah, it's good. Obviously me and Mark ended up with quite a big one, but alas I couldn't uh, that wasn't to be. Oh mini robot war banger racing. <laughs> That's go that sounds like um scale electrics. Yeah, out of Lego, yeah. Ah, right. Ah, William Gaiman. Yeah, see? Good job you all keep me right. You're all coming in with your official names today. Yeah, model planes, yeah. Also, I mean, Lego was definitely, uh, I don't know, create every, every, whatever you wanted. Mark used to make guns. Everything seemed to turn into a gun, whether it was a socket set. <laughs> So, but it doesn't bother him now. But yeah, it's 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 good. I've got a Lego model to build. The Mark got me for Christmas, so I'm gonna have to get that built to go on my shelf. Yeah, uh, thanks, Carl. Yes, you're more than welcome, buddy. Thanks for joining. It's you guys that make it. Yeah, Chris, I know it's, it has stayed expensive, you're right. The technical, uh, to be fair, I, I, I was uh, saying to my wife, the the Lego sit, City Collection, you know, for like, for younger people actually making, I don't know, they, they've built up a, a really good range of stuff. Yeah, I think that's quite good, and the train sets, the Lego, all the Lego ones, you know, so not only get the fun of building it, but you can actually do something with it. Yes, I'm a, I'm a technical stuff, Adam. Yeah, as I say, this telehandler Mark's got me as a, a technical one. So I'm going to make it up and put it on my shelf, so. Uh, gangster, what am I looking up? Quite into soldiers and action. Oh, action men! Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't know if you if you look at any of the tank stuff that we did. The um, the action man 12-inch figure was the right scale for the tanks. But there was another company called Dragon that made uh, action action figures, and that's probably what action men used to be like to, for me, where that you know proper hands and proper hair and you know. Uh, not just the plastic things that they, they are to this day. Yeah, I was quite shocked when I started getting marked, stuff like that, how, how bad it seemed. Uh, Chris, do you, you miss Barbie, is that supposed to say? I know you've put Barbie. Oh, micro machines, yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, that's that takes me back. Mark liked his Transformers, mind I've got to say. And boy, did he transform into something. Uh, right, look up... Um, right, look computer with locks up. Really? Up. I don't know if you're pulling my leg, but... Uh, hi Aunt Lol. I've, I've not heard of it. Hi William. Ah, w uh, Will, you, you, you're doing well buddy, you're not too far behind. Uh, yeah, it would have been, I, I mean, I, I would have to, I'll, I'll build it the dining room table so I, I wouldn't take all my gear down. Tamagotchi, Tommy Tronic, yeah, I remember Tony Tronic 3D games. Okay, Malky. Maybe that's when things were changing. Um, see, we, we were still all played outside then, which I, I do understand that uh, the kids today, they're not just going to go play outside because it's not as safe for them. 
uh, i.e. I mean kids are more frightened of other kids we knew when we were kids we knew who to avoid or who you'd upset <laughs> you, you didn't have to tell us twice <laughs> are your guns do you take the dogs out on a night after stream no only have one only have one one my wife sorts that out uh, yeah Tommy Tronic Ah, Mark Davison, first time watching. Well, thanks for popping in and saying hello, Mark. It means a lot. Andy. Hello, buddy. Just, I was reading your name slowly. <laughs> Suddenly realised who it was. Right, Tom Hills in Odense. Uh, right, I can't help you from there, buddy. And Adam is the one to keep you right. Right, there was a kid who knocked on the other people's doors and ran. Yeah, we did that. Right, Chris is going in for fuel. Okay, buddy, well, I'm in a, I'm in a big Scania doing 5.4 miles to gallon, so I'm okay. I'll tell you what, mate, there's a good thing, Chris. I filled up um, in Plymouth because I upgraded my garage, bought the petrol pump, filled it up with fuel, and I'm on... Well, just under half a tank full now. So, that's since half past eight. So, it just shows you. Yeah, knock and run away, I know. I mean, <laughs> oh, metal tonker toys, that's what I'm talking about. The dump truck, yeah, can you matter oh, that's what I've just bought. I think that's why I bought the one in um in Grand Theft Auto. Mark will probably wet himself when he sees it. He'll say, What are you bought that for? How are we gonna do missions with that? I don't care. No, Mandy, you can't. I, I can't read that. I know you've wrote it. But <laughs> Ashley Noakes, thanks, thanks for that. Hiya, Connor. <laughs> oh, Mandy, you are so, so bad. I tell you what, the metal tonkers would be. I had a, I had the metal tonker. It had the front scoop and it had the back, uh, back arm on. And that had caterpillar tracks on. And they were good caterpillar tracks, they never snapped either, so. Yeah, that's good, Connor. I really appreciate that. Hey, Andy, no no need to apologise. Uh, mine and Mark's spelling's not good either, so. You've been good company. That's not bad. You couldn't sleep, so you come and watch me. I'll get you to sleep. Oh, Adam, I saw you have a, a slight off with the uh, poster. <laughs> it's not like you. You do so much typing for me, though, so it's uh, it's perfectly acceptable. Hi, you Stitch. Yes, uh, definitely be on tomorrow, buddy. Nine, nine o'clock. I'll uh, I'll put a. I'll be on in the afternoon. Just uh, I could be farming or I could be trucking. I'm not sure. But, Right, can you transport yourself to a waypoint? Uh, you can transport yourself to another garage. There is a teleport system which I'm not going to try and attempt to uh, tell you how to use. Uh, <laughs> go off road, yeah. Don't get caught doing it. <laughs> Uh, Chris, I haven't actually, no, but Mark's got a polo shirt uh, for me. I, I've been reliably informed. So it will come down next Friday when Mark comes down. String it, Dolly, that was better. Oh, yes, had that. 
<laughs> Cotton we used to use. Little uh, thread. Bad. Yeah, it, that goes in one of the, um, you know, things that you would put right if you could go back. Yeah, I'd, I'd go and unknock on them. Definitely. Yeah, Andy, being really good. Oh, it's Aaron the Spud Gun. Oh, thank you. Oh, what a memory. How everyone walk around with the potatoes in the pockets with, with little holes in them. <laughs> I used to eat the spuds. <laughs> I don't know whether that's where I, I enjoyed the. Uh, I don't. You know, I can eat your raw potato. I make Mark's the same. Um, it's the only raw vegetable I'll eat mine, but I don't know if that's where it came from. This spud gun. Wow, what a call. Yeah, see you later, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely fishing, fishing line. Uh, oh, God, aye, that's your spud gun. Right, they, they hurt and all. Especially when people used to run up behind, put it to your neck or something and shoot you with it. I don't even, I bet you can't even buy, well, you know, of course, you're not going to be able to buy one, can you? Because, uh, Yes, see you later, uh, Paul. Still 113 miles, so it's been a, that's been a good one out, that one. Uh, it's just had to pop into the uh, northeast of England tonight, ready for tomorrow. They've got some stuff they need to do. Buy an old spud gun, wow. I just, I don't even know what kind of guns you can buy at all now, because obviously with the, the amount of bad things that's happened, it's, uh, I mean, we used to make, um, why well, we played bows and arrows, you know, so we, you know, that's what we used to do. We had a pen knife, you know, but you couldn't carry, a, imagine carrying a pen knife around now, out. You just couldn't, could you? I think, uh, yeah, but we made everything like that. Made our own little bogies, you know, the old pram wheels and that, you know, that was uh, that was always done. That was just, that was standard grown up, that. I can still buy a spud gun, wow. Well, if you did. If you'd have asked me before, and I would have put money, the answer would be no. So I'm very surprised. Oh yeah, I must admit, jigsaws, I have uh, built a few. My mum's probably still got all of them, I would say, because my mum's a little bit like me, a bit of a hoarder. Yeah, I'm not much of a seller, I'm a more of a... You know, keep it, use it, and then, you know, stash it. Oh, you're yours. Mandy, good call. What about the clackers? Can you remember the two, like, big uh, ball things with a bit of string and you used to go like that and make a hell of a noise with them? Not used as a weapon, no. Right, Poundland had them in. How much were they? What's a spud gun? <laughs> How can you? Not the clackers. Yeah, you can't be clackers, man. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to start. How, how is this? How to describe a spud gun? Um, cranky me. Let's try and think how it was. It was a gun, obviously, and yeah, there was this little piece of metal inside that you used to take out of it and press it into a potato and turn it, and obviously that made uh, that got a bit of potato in it. And you put it in your gun and it, you fired it. But did you did you need a cap or something to fire it with? Hey there, I, I, I actually can't remember how they worked. 
Hiya, JGM. Yeah, I'm just trying to think though how it actually um, how it propel how it propelled itself. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you you you've. Uh... <laughs> Oh no, I've decoupled. What am I decoupling for? <laughs> Sorry, lads. <laughs> what a tool. Uh, no, no, not a not a BB gun. No, because they were little plastic pellets. Um, these were, you know, you needed an actual potato. You pressed the gun into it. Um, it had like a lift out piece that you pressed into the potato, and then you put it back in the gun. I'm not sure if you needed a cap to actually get it to propel. Got me thinking. Man. Red ring cap gun. Remember, remember them. Work by compression. Ah. Ah. Right. Thanks, Darren. Yeah. But I didn't want to say it completely because I, I honestly couldn't remember. Toys like ah, train spot. Wow, well, that just shows you. I'm pleased you can still get some of them, and obviously, they would be. We, we probably misused some of them as well. <laughs> yeah, it's good to look back. I always seem to do that when I'm on, look back a bit, but no harm. Chinese yo yo. Uh, Uh, Chris, if I if I can if there's enough time, would he? Yeah. If we're gonna do something small. Oh yeah, we're, we're at the drop now, so yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get something small. Uh, operation, but can you remember Bookaroo? The uh, you know put the plastic pieces on. Quite a clever game that actually. Yeah, Operation was, um, yeah, don't play Rude Operation either. Won't go into that. Moving swiftly on. EI, all the, all the games. MP3 player, nice one. Yeah, I didn't know that one. How did that one play? What was the object of the game? Yeah, it's come a long way on it. I was gonna say Batman and Robin, but we're not talking about the gimp suit. Right, uh Manta Force. Now that uh Oh Cluedo. There I was I liked Cluedo. So one of the reasons with my uh, playing with all the all the brothers was that the, the Cluedo you still stood a chance. It wasn't. Um, do you know what I mean? It, you know, <laughs> I, I was okay with that. Full screen of everything. Uh, you mean my room? Uh, does the, I can't tell you which uh, which episode it was, but there was one of uh, my room when we when we built when Mark built it so right lads I'm just gonna get a job uh, from here Candyland no I've got to say I can't remember that Pok is Pokemon still big is it really I was I thought it was a joke Pokemon <laughs> I, I, honestly, I didn't realise if it was something that was, uh, right, go back to Esborg is, I'm almost too far, right, there's the one to Strafanga, that's a double trailer, I'm going to take that one because it's 117 miles, so, play Please just come out for the ride out if you want to go for the ride. Do you mean a track? Oh, uh, lost me now.
Right, I'm just going to go and get this load, so, like I say, I, I don't expect everyone to be able to get that load. But, say, please come for the ride out. Make the most of it. Been a good ride out, though, I really enjoyed it. Well, thanks everyone for doing your best. Oh, Mr. Frosty Ice! I Pokemon is like minions, ah! <laughs> uh, oh, hang a sec, don't read while you're cornering. Ah, rush it on the map. Yeah, um, rush, rush map and all that. Great app. I took mine all out while there was getting so much problem with it, and I'll, uh, I'll wait till everything's look forward to putting um, all that back in. The mod side of things is good. Right, there should be a double trailer to pick up here. So that'll be interesting. Hopefully uh, a couple of others have uh, managed to get the same. What's 9 plus 10? Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, Alright, that'll be Farm Sim 19 then. Hey, math, so joke about it, but it's bad at it. Look how, look how long this thing is. This is going to be epic. Oh, 21. <laughs> right, let me get hooked up. Oh, I've run into it. Let me go and inspect. Well. Oh, wow, that was tight. Look at the size of that. They're handy, I know, I would, uh... <laughs> I know. No, actually, I don't know you did, but... Yeah, hey, Pokemon, though. I did actually thought it was a joke thing. I managed to get it. There's Big Kev. Hiya Big Kev. Yeah, I know it, it come out, but I don't know if I'm going to get out of the actual... Oh! I'm pretty sure I must have rubbed it on the fence. But... Uh... <laughs> Selection of topics each. I know. I try. I, I, I try. If, if something comes into my mind, I uh, I try and you know. I can't think of it beforehand. I'm no good at that. And I like trying to think something that uh, brings back a story attached to it of some sort. Alt F4. Uh, and they're like your socks. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they seem to drew more attraction, uh, a bit like Dave really, Dave gets, uh, is more popular than me and Mark, so. Had an electric sound box on it. I can't remember that one. Past car we, we've owned, oh well, I, I just can't believe that Mark plays my summer car, which has got the Datsun 100A that I actually had, that was my first car. So, ah, control, alt, delete, ah, right, your brain must hurt, <laughs> what a tool, action men, hot wheels for me, yeah, action men was good, like, 
<laughs> you paid them to be nice, I know. No, I've uh, I've I've come a long way in that uh, that twelve months. It's been a steep learning curve, but. <laughs> E32. Oh wow, that's uh. Actually, thought I, I thought you were giving me a specification for a computer. That uh, you know when you've put E32 730i V8 BMW. It, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> that's like going back in the day. Yeah, that's uh. And then once I went on the company vans, really, that was that was it until I went self-employed and I could buy myself a like a, a car that I could use for work and for the family. Oh, what is this? That's an interesting-looking uh, roundabout. Hey, Mohammed. Mohammed. When is the next summer kit? I don't know because that's Mark's thing. I, I think something happened uh, where Mark lost his progress of some sort. I, I don't know whether... Oh, it's a little model village. Have you all seen that before? Oh, no, it's not a model village, is it? Actually... Is it a model village? No, no, it's an actual village. Sorry about that. I just looked over the wall and I thought, that looks like a, a really small... <laughs> Oh, is he as cheap as that? Yeah, reverse when you're back on uh, G GTA. Oh, FH12. That, so that'll be the, the mod uh, truck that we've got in the game, I think. Is the, that's the FH12, isn't it? <laughs> you rent as little as that. Yeah, it caught me out that little. Uh, I just looked over and I thought, oh, it's a little uh, model village. But see you later, DJ. Ooh. Pay attention. So I don't know if anyone's tried the um, the tandem trailers. So that that's quite an interesting, you know, to build your truck and then put the the trailers on the back. So. I've tried a couple, they're really good. Oh wow, that, Mohammed, uh, that's... We thought when we were at the truck fest and you saw there was some... Oh, um, big fleets, truck fleets. The expense must be astronomical. Just, just, uh, just running them, <laughs> never mind driving them. Uh, right, tried the tent on the triple and uh, we both. Ah, uh, no, but have you tried, have you, uh, you tried the mud ones in the uh, Euro truck? I, I remember your American truck one because you were going to show me how to park them. So I, I remember thinking, this, how, how can you park them in real life? I just couldn't see it. Ah, right, yeah, running aggregates, yeah, that makes... You know what I mean, though? It, it's all right even uh, having the trucks, but running them, that's a nice bridge, that. What a nice bit of scenery that is. So, yeah, fair play, I mean, that's... Uh, that, that's some job, that. Uh, we're just having our last run to uh, Stravanger. Carl, it's... It's the last sort of, it was 118 miles or something, so. So we're all really struggling to get jobs together, so we're just doing what we can. Well, I can imagine, Mohammed, but you know, the, obviously whoever runs the fleet, you know, that must be a massive job, uh, you know, when, the, when they're on road, off road, and keeping the maintenance up to, up to date, you know. Ah, they're very old. Well, ah, the, f the first one we had in the house was the old um, one everyone will have seen, the, you know, black and white with had the two paddles on it where it went bleep, 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 whatever that noise was. And you were, uh, and 
But then I had, uh, when me and my wife were caught, I had a, I bought an Atari, an Atari games console, and it had her favourite game was Frogger, <laughs> where you had to get the frog across the road on the avoiding the uh, alligators and that, and the snakes. So that was my that was my wife. So we used to sit in the bedroom, Atari on, black and white telly, and playing the. Uh, oh, it's good. It's good. Pong. Is that what it was called? Pong? Ah, well, there you go. And I've got to say, <laughs> it's probably in my mum's mum's wardrobe. I've got, it, it will be. She, she, just, she throws nothing out. Uh, Byron, we're just going up to Stravanger, and then that's, uh, that's our lot for it. Uh, yeah, it's been a good run out. Yeah, what's worth a few pennies now in the box? Uh, you mean an Atari or another? And they uh, had the Sega. <laughs> that was a fortune, that. But, you know, Shaul and Mark enjoyed it. I don't know whether Mark played with the Sega much, though. My daughter, probably more so. Blitz on the Commodore. Yeah, see, I mean, when I realised, uh, you know, I, I, people were playing uh, games, so I was obviously keen, because I always wanted a, I don't know if it was a Commodore, or uh, what was the other one? Um, Spectrum. You yeah, put the floppies in. Oh, he's got a Sega. He's still got a Sega. Ah, I am Strad as well. As well, yeah. Yes, he made a he made a bit with that. But yeah, it's uh, it's good to look back. It doesn't do you any harm. Yeah, definitely, Adam. Yeah, always interested what you, uh, what you, what, what your dads are up to. Absolutely, Commodore sixty four. I, I can't, Richard. Um, I can remember hearing about them, but none of my friends or my brothers or anyone had them. So that was stuff I actually only heard about. So, and uh, Nintendo, Super, Super Nintendo, yeah, remember that? Ah, it's, it is good, fun. Right, how am I going to park this? I take it, I'll go in there then. It's all about marbles. Oh, what's that? Sega, top games for... <laughs> oh yeah, it does fit. Oh no, I've got to reverse it. Steady. I don't want to bend. <laughs> That'll do. Don't want to bend it. Oh, GameCube. Yeah, did anyone have one of them? Who had a Wii? I don't know if I ever tried it. Uh i trying to think whether my daughter had one. I don't know if I ever tried one. So, but I suppose that's where the VR things all come in, isn't it? Where it's all, uh, you know, hand. you've got things on your hand now, haven't you? For, I'll get a go of a uh, VR one day. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, Hoggy Company is uh, Armstrong Haulage. The, uh, everything that you need is in the uh, stream description, buddy. So I don't know if everyone's got the red spanner. I'll go there just in case. Hi, uh, MJ. New to the channel. Started playing your truck. How do you remove the in-game steering wheel? Um, I would. Um, <laughs> I would. Go I would uh, not Google it. I would YouTube it, buddy. It's a little bit too long for me to, and I'm just off at the moment. So, yeah. Thanks, Monkey, and thanks for everyone who's been around just to. 
follow us around. Jumbo Jacks, can't remember that. So, Neil, can you tell me? Don't remember playing with my. Mar oh, sorry, marbles. Yeah, definitely marbles. But again, that was. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't obviously a gambler because people were like, "I'll play you for this, that, and the other." And you could lose what you had. So, I kind of didn't do that. I watched people, but I, you know, I wasn't one for doing it. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I can remember. Yeah, thanks for putting that on, Will. But you will need to be able to activate your console, which is that part. And if you don't know how to get that console on, again, you need to YouTube it. It's too much for me to go into, especially right at the end. All right, everybody. That's me going to get myself off and get my wife away to bed. That's uh, that's flown over that two and a half hours there. So anyway, yeah, thanks, everybody. I will be back on tomorrow around about half two-ish. You know, I'm not sure where I'm going to farm or truck. I'll, I'll make my mind up tomorrow. I don't like looking that far ahead. But definitely trucking tomorrow night, 9 o'clock again. So whatever, do, whatever you're doing between now and then, please take care. It's a good night from him. And it's a good night from me. See you later, everyone. Take care now.